Hello and welcome to my players. Mine just sounded really need to bring in. And then, well, not five. I can't directly say that it will be five players. But I can say I'll say a couple of players that I want. Well, I, I, as I'm a Manchester City fan, I don't know why I'm good, but it doesn't matter right now. But as I'm a Manchester City fan, um, I don't really, I couldn't tell us about how well you might do next season, so I could because we're our, our, our rivals. So, we're five, so, why do I keep on saying five? Well, we're playing as I think you might need to sign the one, I think. If we're in colour half. He's a really consistent centre back from Sporting Lisbon. Shouldn't cost too much money. He's he's just he's just too, he's really consistent. He would be a perfect replacement for the ditch or real. Because those two were great centre backs and of course Warren Colour How could follow them in their footsteps. Because Warren Colour How a great player, Manchester United of course. Oh it pains me to say this but we are a great club. But so two great things together. Could it make anything bad? Could it? Someone else I think is Gonzalo Higuain. He's Argentinian! He's really not in need. Because like, sure, we've got Wayne Rooney. Well, they've got Wayne Rooney. But he's more of a camp position with Mata. And we've got one person, James Orson. That Danny Wallback and um, Chicharito probably will be on their way out. Of course, Robin Van Persie, a world class striker, but of course he can't do it all on his own. So, James Dawson, I wouldn't say he's the best striker, he's not one of the best strikers in the world. He should, like, really come on as, like, I'm not really going to call him a super sub because he's not really, like, doing himself as a super sub, except because he wasn't subbed on for the two goals against Hull last season. So, James Dawson would. Is a great player, but Gonzalo Higuain, he would be ama he would be amazing. He scores from belters. He's strong on the ball. He knows how to pass well. He'll keep it. And his physicality is great. Uh, he's got good vision to pass the ball. And he's Argentinian. Okay. Someone else I think that Manchester United need. Is is Julian Draxler. He prefers to play on the left, but the reason he plays there is because he can cut in and take a bullet with his right foot. Because I honestly think he's a great player. He's got a huge amount of talent. He's got great potential. He would be a he would be a great addition to Manchester United. Because like we. Of course, we've got Nanny and Ashley Young. Well, they've got Nanny and Ashley Young. Well, they're just divers. They don't do anything. Sure, they were good. But not anymore. And, uh, of course, Ashley Young shouldn't go out. But, I'm not sure of Nanny, because... He, he was great the season before last. Great the season before that one, and, and before that one, and before that one. But I think he's just, I don't think he really wants to stay, but he's not put in some great performances at Manchester United this season. So Julian Jackson could replace one of those two. Right, moving on to Ilkay Gundogan. Manchester United will, in, will be in a big clash of titans with mega rich vultures day in Munich as we, as in, as Germans say, I am munching, but we call it Munich. Don't know why actually. I'll have to do that. Um, like Gundogan, he's he's just amazing. He's got he's got height. He's got accuracy. He's got power. He's got he's got. I've already said height, haven't I? Yeah. And when he when he he doesn't get too many shots because he likes to help out in front of the defence quite a lot but when he gets a shot it's bolting right past the goalkeeper because I just, I just think that he's an amazing talent and be a great addition to Manchester United 
someone else is Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, of course, got a n numerous potential, um, numerous um, teams after him in the Ball Peace Premiership. I don't, I honestly think that Manchester United will not, well, as is pro I think he's already going, but Manchester United need improvement there anyway. Because ever, he's not been great last season, he's been, he's been average. Same with Alex Butner. I'd, I'd call Alex Butner a third choice striker, maybe. Third uh, striker, third or fourth last back. Because I, I, I just don't like the way he plays. He doesn't offer much to a team. When we're playing badly, he doesn't do anything there. When, when they're playing badly, he doesn't do anything there. Why do I keep on saying we? I'm not a United fan. Um, but altogether. Luke Shaw is a great player. And finally, a great English player. Because not many English players are really that good, so, yeah. Moving on, I am going to be saying players I think should go out. Of course, I've already mentioned Ashley Young and Nan. Those two just don't offer anything to the team at all. They just dive, dive, dive. Just try to have a shot on goal, goes over, all wide, dive. I just don't like, I just don't like the way we play. Because of course I like Julian Drexler. He'd be a great replacement for both of them. They both are, both worth about 7.2. No, they're probably both worth about 20 quid. Well, maybe that's a bit over extreme. Like 4 million or something maybe then. Like we don't work well with the team. I, I think we both want to go. We've had we've had good years. We've had bad years, but it's time for both of them to move on. Someone else I would think should go out. I think he does need to be given more time. But it's Marlon Fellaini, of course. That big man with an afro. If only he put his hair, he would be good. Hopefully. Um. No, he's not offered much, he's not been getting in at goal. I don't think, I think he needs more time though, because he didn't get played too much on the day, well he did, because David Moyes of course brought him in, but I don't think he's been, he's not worth how much United played for him, 32.1 million was it, or does that matter, 27 million, something like that. So they've really wasted money on him. Imagine who else you could get with that. You could get William Carvajal, Jackson, mm, possibly reach all together. 27.1 million. Just a waste of money on my own Blaney. I just don't like him. Well, I do. I like him as a football player when he was at Everton, but he's not. He's not been great at Manchester United. So now, I think Anderson. Has he even played this season? Has he even been on the bench? He's not done anything this season. He's not, he's not even. He's probably not even watched the United game this season. He's just poor. He, he doesn't know what to do with the ball. When he gets on the ball, he'll always just try and pass it, and he'll pass it back. Ne he never tries going forward. He wants to be too safe. He doesn't want to make mistakes, but he does make mistakes, and that's why he's not playing. So our next one is. It pains me to see him go, but, well, maybe he does go. Chicharito, Chicharito, Javier Hernandez. He's not, he's not done too well. Of course, he, he got a little pull out of the cup. But when Manchester United need goals, he does not come. He's just, he's just, he's a bit of a laid back striker. He's just leaving off work to the midfield. And then it, he'll just go home and then he'll just try and put the ball in the net and he'll probably miss again. Like he always does. Something else, someone else I think should go. Of course, Rufo Lamb's already gone, well, going, so I'm not going to say it, big wheel. But Tom Cleverley, really, he's been putting in some okay performances lately, but he's not up to Manchester United class. I think, 
I just, I just don't know what to say about him. He's just, he's just been poor. That's all I can say. Well, he's not been poor. Cause we we put in some good performances, but he's just not Man United class. Yeah. He's not good enough to be playing with the likes of Mata, Van Persie, really. I, li I like the guy, he, he had a good season. But it's time for him to move on again. So that is it. The players that are going out and in. There we go. That's it. See you guys next time. And please. Subscribe to my channel and like it. Because it would. But I need your opinions. So, of course, comment. Who do you think Manchester United should bring in? And I'm going to be doing some of the same sort of stuff like this on different teams, such as Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Barcelona. Well, of course, Barcelona can't because they've been banned for two seasons from the transfer window. So, sack them. Um, but, yeah teams along the lines of them so that's it see you guys bye see what well, i can take someone's from whoa which just popped from nowhere what's, <laughs> what's more like a nose right see us that is it bye you shouldn't have watched that last part no no